Oh. <laughs> Dinner parties. Aren't they the most boring, tedious thing you can imagine? And I'm always stuck with these really boring people. I mean, if I was stuck on a desert island with this lot and a big tin of corned beef, I'd kill and eat them and keep the tin of corned beef to talk to. <laughs> The nearest this lot have got to life in the fast lane is the six items or less queue at Safeways. <laughs> and they're always couples, aren't they? Married couples at these dinner parties. Oh, yes, this is Bob and Vicky. This is Terry and Mandy. This is Bob Calgies and Spit the Dog. <laughs> and you already know Trinidad and Tobago, don't you? <laughs> and the food! Oh, sometimes seems like... The hostess has got the food, got the recipes out of a book called A Thousand and One Things to Do with Kling Peaches. <laughs> a thousand and two if you eat them. <laughs> when I have people around, I actually, I, I do a lot of cooking. I spend days buying and preparing the food. And then what I do is I tell everybody that I bought all the food from Marks and Spencers, just so they can all go, Oh, Marks and Spencers, oh, Marks and Spencers, oh, the fabulous Marks and Spencers, what would you do without Marks and Spencers? <laughs> so boring. Dinner parties are about as exciting as Sweden on early closing day. It's a really exciting place, Sweden. Hello, Sven, I've just bought a Volvo. <laughs> what have you got, Sven? I've got the Volvo! <laughs> They're about as excited as an award-winning cartoon from Poland. <laughs> I've seen an award-winning cartoon. They always seem to be about a plasticine man being chased by office blocks. <laughs> 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 